Hi, my name's Holly and I'm a museum assistant for Aberdeen Art Gallery and Museums. And today I'd like to tell you about our magnificent painted gallery at the Aberdeen's oldest residence, Proper Skeen's House. Belonging to a rich merchant and his wife, Matthew Lumsden came from a prominent Catholic family. He spent his career trading on the continent. In 1626, four years after they'd moved onto the wealthy guest row, Matthew commissioned an artist to paint the gallery for his own private worship. And this was a time when the Protestant Reformation had swept the country and to be a Roman Catholic was outlawed. And this was exactly what the painted gallery was designed for. He and his wife would practice Roman Catholicism in secret and even use a hidden staircase to reach the gallery. Now the painting itself depicts the many episodes of Christ's life. So we begin with the Annunciation and um, the Nativity and runs right the way through to Christ on the cross and his ascent to heaven. Now, throughout the Middle Ages, um, biblical paintings such as these became extremely popular because they served as a visual narrative for those that could not read. Now, the painted gallery at Proboscines is synonymous with the elaborate and extravagant paintings that you'd find in Roman Catholic monasteries and abbeys up and down the country. And if you look very closely, you can actually see the many exotic influences from Matthew's time abroad, such as the Grecian columns and the Roman pillars and the classical arches. Now, unfortunately, we do not know the um, identity of the artist that painted the gallery, but what we do know is that the gallery was not for everybody's eyes. In the next half of the 17th century, the gallery was boarded up with panelling and it wasn't discovered until the 1950s when Aberdeen City Council were renovating Provost schemes to turn it into a museum. Now this panelling can serve the paints extremely well, protecting it from heat, um, the damp and also obviously sun damage too. Now as for Elizabeth and Matthew, they made a drastic conversion to become Protestant Covenanters over the course of the following 15 years. But sadly, in 1644, Matthew fought the, on the side of the Covenanters at the Battle of Aberdeen and sadly lost his life for the cause. 